enough. It is two o'clock on a Friday afternoon and I have just decided I need to delete all my social media. I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> it's taking over my life, I can't. I'm so tired. Because I'm just scrolling on social media. For the past few weeks, I've really noticed how much social media has become more addictive to me. Everyone is addicted to social media, everyone loves to scroll. But I've noticed that the past few weeks have just been extra, extra scrolly for me. I feel like the past few months I've gotten worse and worse with social media, I've gotten even more addicted. I've been extremely unproductive, I'm tired all the time and to be honest my mental health is declining. I need to fix that and I think getting rid of social media is a humongous step that will really help me. I have taken a month off social media before, I think I did it last year, I did it for like six weeks actually and I was doing great and then I started scrolling on social media again and now I'm more addicted than ever. So yeah, I basically just scroll and scroll on TikTok and it's taking over my life. There are a lot of positive things with TikTok but I think mostly it's negative. I don't think our brains are supposed to take in that much information. I feel like if I need that information I can search for it. I don't need to be displayed with information all the time. I can't really remember what it was like having a social media break last year. I remember the first week I was really productive and it got a little bit harder after the first week but the more time that passed the better I felt. Just all in all I remember being better. <laughs> I thought I would take you along for the ride because I don't remember what it's like to have a social media break and it sounds weird to say that it's an addiction but it is an addiction. There are like withdrawals that you have when you can't scroll anymore. It's gonna make me feel uncomfortable basically. So right now it is 14 14 on the 15th of March and I'm gonna delete all the apps. Yeah, I'm gonna delete all the apps. Last time I did my social media break, I kept the apps on my phone, but I just didn't click on them, which was tempting. I also kept Instagram last time just for messages. So if I saw that I had a notification, I would quickly check if it was a message or not. And if it was a message that I needed to respond to, I would, otherwise I would click off Instagram. I'm gonna do this social media break for a week. So I'm gonna delete Instagram this time. Any messages that I might get, I can definitely respond to after a week. But if I wanna keep going for like a month, then I probably have to re-download Instagram and just respond to messages like last time. But for now, and for this video, I am gonna delete everything. Um, the only apps that I will be keeping are Messenger and WhatsApp because that's how I communicate with my family and friends, especially those that don't live here in the UK. And I'll also be keeping YouTube. I was debating whether or not to stop using YouTube for this week as well. I feel like long form content like YouTube does not affect me as bad mentally as the short form. It's the constant scrolling I think on um, the short form content that's just messing the most with me and getting all the different kind of information. I feel like watching a longer video on YouTube doesn't affect me the same way because it's basically the same topic and the same kind of emotion you have for the video. It's like watching a film. So yeah. However, I do have one rule for my YouTubing and that is that I can only watch YouTube in the evening after everything is done for the day. Like after I've cooked dinner and done whatever I need to do and I feel like okay the day is done then I can watch YouTube. But no YouTubing during the day because that is the same as scrolling basically. I also do have to mention the occasional addiction to games on my phone. I realised that this happened on my last social media break. To compensate for not scrolling I started playing games on my phone because obviously they give you the same kind of dopamine fix like every time you complete a level you feel happy with dopamine like you do when you scroll after every video you feel dopamine fixed and then you keep going so i am also going to delete all the games off my phone i basically do not want to use this phone unless i'm taking a photo or unless i'm googling a recipe or when i'm running and i need music for my run but otherwise i don't want to be on my phone 
definitely not social media or gaming. My goal is basically to get bored and uncomfortable and eventually start using my time better. So yeah, let's delete apps. <sighs> I feel hesitant right now. Okay. I think that's all. Okay, so that's done. What now? Well, hello there. I'm sitting in a car. It is Monday, 18th of March. If you see my previous video, you know that I am not at home. So I deleted all the social media on Friday afternoon. Saturday, I read a book. Not a whole book, but I started reading a book. But then came Saturday afternoon, which is when we decided that we needed to go to where we are now. We needed to rent the car and the hotel and everything and go for Jesse's job. Then came Sunday yesterday and this is where i need to talk about my social media break a bit more in depth i was sitting here in the car i was really bored and i didn't have any social media to go on and i did not know what to do with myself i was just sitting here doing nothing then i started to read my book again then came the stress if you want to know why i'm here and why i'm stressed just go to the last video and get the brief there but basically i needed to use oh there's a car Basically, I needed to use Facebook Marketplace and I did not download the Facebook app, but I did search Facebook Marketplace online and I did use it to eventually go and buy something that we desperately needed to replace what was broken. So, did I break my social media break? Maybe, but technically I did not download the app on my phone to use it, so I don't know. Did I break it or did I not break it? We needed to get that product and only Facebook Marketplace had it right there and then. So that's why I had to do that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still gonna count it like I'm having a social media break because I feel like I'm still taking a break anyway. I haven't been on Instagram, I haven't been on TikTok. I wasn't on Facebook to like scroll. I feel good about it. I feel like I haven't used social media. And I guess that's where we're at now. It's monday now i have not used any social media today either it is already 4 30 i'm busy with editing and tonight we're going to be driving home so i won't even have time to think about social media today but it's going well and i like life without it Hello, it's Friday again. It's been a week, a week without social media. 
It is Friday the 22nd of March. It's 10 past 2. I don't remember what time it was exactly when I deleted the social media apps, but I know it was around 2. So I think it's officially been a week. So yeah, a week without social media. How was it? I have a few thoughts on it. First of all, I need to address the weekend when I had to use Facebook Marketplace. So I know Facebook Marketplace is obviously Facebook. I went on to Google and searched Facebook Marketplace and the product that I was looking for. I could access it without actually downloading the Facebook app, but I did need to log in to message the seller. I was only looking for that specific product. So I didn't really use Facebook that day apart from looking for that product. I feel like it doesn't count. So I still feel like I didn't do social media that day. I'm happy with that. So I had quite a busy weekend. We came home on Monday night. Then Tuesday was the first real day that I had to just be without social media, not being occupied with anything. Then on Wednesday, I did some stuff around the apartment. I was cleaning a bit and doing some stuff. It is difficult though. I would pick up my phone to go on social media to waste some time, but then I couldn't. Same when I was doing anything like brushing my teeth. I couldn't scroll on Instagram. And I noticed how in the day-to-day -day activities, I always interrupt myself by picking up my phone and checking social media. I definitely became more aware of how much I consume social media and when I do it. I would often pick it up when I was getting a bit bored, when I really needed to do a task that I did not want to do, or when something was getting really hard. Sometimes when I'm editing, I mean sometimes I get bored, so then I would want to pick up my phone can't do that and then sometimes when you're editing you need to make decisions in how you want to edit the video and when I was like in that decision making mindset I would pick up my phone and then be like I can't do social media right now I need to actually make the decision apart from that one week is not enough for a social media break I think in general everyone needs to learn to just limit their social media or when they consume their social media there are obviously things you can do on your phone you can put like a time limit so that you only go on instagram five minutes a day and i don't know if that would work for me yeah one week just isn't enough it's a habit that you're trying to break and seven days is not enough to break a habit or an addiction like you need time i mentioned in the beginning of the video that i took a social media break before for six weeks and I did it a bit differently where I still had the apps on my phone. I just didn't click on them. After this week, I think I preferred how I did it last time. I thought it would be easier this time by going cold turkey and just like deleting the apps. But without sounding too addicted, I've been worried that I've gotten messages that I need to respond to. It's not just like, oh, maybe a friend sent me a message. I'm worried that someone would contact me for like a job or something on Instagram and that I'm just missing that opportunity. The thing is, I don't usually get contacted for jobs on Instagram. I have maybe once or twice. So, you know, I don't know why it would happen now this week but i have had that fear so i feel like how i did it last time by having the app and only clicking to see the notification when i got a notification would put me more at ease the next thing i need to say is i need to be better at limiting youtube more even though i set that rule that i would only watch youtube when the day was done and everything was done i didn't stick to that I did watch YouTube during the day when I still had things to do. It was absolutely substituting the social media that I couldn't consume. And also now YouTube has YouTube Shorts. I mean, it's like TikTok and Instagram. Even though I don't go on the YouTube Shorts and look at the Shorts, they still come up in your feed and everything. So it's very much there, even if you don't want to see it. So that was definitely distracting. Those are my conclusions. Most of all though, I do have to say that it feels great to take a social media break. I felt so good. Even though I did just say I had a bit of FOMO if I got messages or not on Instagram, I want to try and keep going with the social media break. What I am going to do though is re-download the app, specifically Instagram. It's probably best for me not to re-download TikTok. I don't know if I should or not. And Facebook, I don't really use. I also deleted Snapchat, but like, who even uses Snapchat anymore? I am going to re-download Instagram and let's see together if I received any DMs that I desperately need to respond to. I think we both know that I didn't. 
Instagram, re-download. That's re-downloading. I do have four requests. Okay, so I had four message requests on Instagram. Three of them saying that they <laughs> can fix my YouTube SEO and that they can make my YouTube channel much better. Scam. And then the fourth one was someone random. The message that says, hi, I can meet you. So no, no important messages. I've got from my friends as well, but they are just memes. Okay, well, now I'm sucked in again. I'm gonna try and not. I was gonna say that I am gonna continue my social media break, but I think I should say that I'm going to restart my social media break because I did just download Instagram. And then I also need to figure out how I can limit my YouTube watching. So yeah, that is gonna be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Have you been on a social media break? Are you thinking about doing a social media break? And subscribe to see what else I get up to. Bye bye. Bye.